Next, let us review the physical aspects of the Ventus MX-4 by taking a walk around the instrument. The instrument is available in two configuration types, the aspirated or pump version and the diffusion or non-pump version. The key physical difference between the two is the presence of the motorized pump attached for the aspirated model. The removal of five Phillips head screws will allow the operator to easily change from a pump configuration to a diffusion configuration. The instrument is also available in two different colors, the standard black rubber over molded case and the optional orange over molded case. The pump inlet is located at the top of the unit and has a filter present to block the intake of dirt, dust and debris while still allowing gas vapors to reach the sensors. Embedded in the instrument's pump assembly is the alarm lens for the unit's visual alarms. These alarms are activated whenever a gas exposure limit is exceeded. The Ventus MX-4 liquid crystal display is one of the largest and most visible displays for a compact multi-gas monitor. Numbers and universal icons make the user interface simple and easy to understand. All functions for the Ventus MX-4 are controlled by the two buttons located on the front of the unit. The on-off mode button, the button to the left, controls the on-off function of the instrument and allows the user to navigate through the user screens. An enter button, the button to the right, allows the user to select the mode for which they would like to execute. Between the on-off mode button and the enter button is the audible alarm port. This opening allows the Ventus MX-4 to activate 95 decibels of piercing sound designed to alert the user of an escalation of gas concentration. On the bottom of the Ventus MX-4 you find the infrared communications port. This is the two-way portal for transferring information into and out of the Ventus MX-4. Also on the bottom of the unit are the charging contacts. These contacts serve as the connection between the Ventus MX-4's rechargeable battery and the charger's power supply. On the back side of the Ventus MX-4, you will find the attachment point for the unit's clip. The Ventus MX-4 comes standard with a suspender-style clip. Should the user wish to rotate the clip 180 degrees, that is also possible. 